Hey, sixth grade. So this week's lesson focuses on space. Um, space in art terms means um, for 2D artwork, you can make something appear like it's popping out through perspective. So we're reviewing one point perspective today. If you remember, um, in class we created a hallway and it looked like the hallway was going back into space. Well, we're doing the opposite today. Um, we're going to make exploding shapes that appear to be coming forward. So um, I'm really excited to see all of your examples. Um, and so let's get started with this project. For this project, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser, um, markers. I'm using a thin Sharpie and like a medium Sharpie a ruler or a straight edge. So that could be a piece of cardboard or like a notebook just so you can use that straight edge. And um, crayons, because we're gonna add some color to this project. We're gonna make a shape explosion. I'm gonna do that using perspective. So if you remember, we did a hallway for our perspective and everything went into that space. Now for this project, it's going to be more popping out or exploding. So I'm gonna start by putting a dot in the center. We're doing one point perspective, so we have one vanishing point, and that is our vanishing point. Now, you are going to draw a shape. I'm starting with a square, and I'm keeping it low because we're going to actually draw shapes all around. So I am going to draw a square. Oop. Now, you might remember this from our notes. This is definitely a review. step right there okay so if you remember I like to put dots on the corners and I start by connecting the dots so I take one corner and I connect it to the vanishing point I take the next corner connect it to the vanishing point oh, didn't go quite I take this corner connect it to the vanishing point and then when I look at this corner it crosses through the face of the shape. We are not going to connect that because even though that's how it's supposed to be, it would make the shape see-through. So we're going to leave it like it is because we're only going to do the sides that we can see. Because it's turned this way, we can't see the back side. So that's all you have to do. Now, when we did our notes, I had you draw um, parallel lines, but we're going to have the shapes exploding out from one point. So that's all we have to do. Now, you can stick to rectangles if you wanna keep it simple, or you can experiment and try a couple different other shapes. So like, I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of those. I'm gonna do a triangle. Okay, so I'm gonna connect that point and that point to the vanishing point. Now when I go to connect this, it cuts through the face, so that's all you need for this shape. Um, so let's do a circle. And for me, when I do it, I actually, because a circle doesn't have any points, I find it's easier to start at the vanishing point and I push my ruler and I stop when I hit an edge. So I'm gonna draw that line down to the vanishing point and I missed the vanishing point. Hold on, let me erase this. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so I line it up, draw the line and there's my circle. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. I'm gonna push it over gonna line it up so the edge here is lined up here okay so that circle is popping out um, so what I want you to continue to do is add at least I would say five shapes I'm gonna try to fit a couple more but you can experiment with it Okay, so I finished drawing my shapes. Um, and so the next step is you are going to trace them in marker. Okay, so now that I've traced my shapes, I'm actually gonna use value to make them look even more 3D. So I'm just gonna use one color for all of these, but if you wanna change up the color, that's totally fine too. So you could use 
all different colors for each one, or you can use the same, or you can use a couple. It's really up to you. So I'm gonna start by lightly shading in each of the front shapes, the shape that we started with. I'm gonna shade it in super light. So this is the closest thing to us um, if it's exploding out, so it's going to be the lightest and the brightest. I'm trying to keep them all the same kind of like value. Okay, so after you do that, some of the shapes you'll notice just have one side. Um, so I'm going to make that one side a little bit darker. Okay, now it is up to you which side you wanna make lighter and darker. So um, I'm just gonna make the top ones the lighter color. We're not really worrying about a light source or anything. So I'm going to make this darker than the top. So this darker than that. And then the bottom is gonna be even darker. So I have to press pretty hard for this part. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. All right, and then my last one, over here. Okay. Now, When you're done, you can see that they're popping out. So, because this is a space project, um, we have it a, a 2D plane, so a flat paint plane up here that it's popping out. Now, this would be our positive space, and the negative space is blank right now. So I want you to get creative with the background. So because it's an explosion, I'm going to draw an explosion behind it, and then trace it in marker and color it. Um, if you want to approach this in a different way, it's totally fine. But I do want you to do something with the negative space. Okay, so I just finished up with my background for my exploding shape project. Um, you can see that so that this artwork looks like it's popping out more, I used a lot of blending techniques. Like I shaded around the kind of like the paint blob in the background. And then here I added um, a darker green to make the paint blob look like it's darker in the center with um, that goes along with the explosion. So remember, you don't have to do this style of background if you don't want to. If you want to take a different approach, that sounds good to me. So I'm looking forward to seeing all your shape explosions.